Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Backstage 85 South Show Lounge. Now, it, it, don't, it don't even make sense to come to Atlanta and say anything about some music and not bring up the legendary Dungeon Family. Goody Mom is in the lounge with us right now today. And when I say Goody Mom, I'm talking about Timo. I'm talking about Gil. I'm talking about Cujo, and I'm talking about CeeLo, known as the Goody Mob. Because yes, the good sir. die mostly over bullshit. Indeed. Uh, man, y'all so futuristic Indeed. when it come to it. I give y'all the flowers every time I see y'all. Even if futuristic Indeed. when it come to it, I give y'all the flowers every time I see y'all. Even if me and Gip smoke some up, I'm still going to make sure that y'all get them flowers, man. Y'all looking good, feeling good. How's everything, man? Facts. Magnificent. Go ahead, Moses. Yeah, everything's real good, man. We've been blessed. We had an opportunity to, to bring forth the Goody Mobs, true, dirty South essence, man, to the world all over again for the 50 years of hip hop, man. I'm happy, man. Yeah. I'm happy. It's a blessing, man, to still be relevant, still have something to say, still have a little energy in the tank, left in the tank. You know what I'm saying? Still been doing this thing about 25 years, man. Come on Probably, now, 25. You know 25 years, man. Say that. 25 years, half of our lives, man. So it's been a wonderful journey. I can say that much. Man, you know that if you put them 20, that's 25, 50, 75, that's 100. Let's go. That's, that's 100. Let's go. The whole thing. <laughs> Give how you feel today, man. Uh, I feel good. I feel good. Los Angeles just being able to be out here in front of Atlanta perform with the group, um, and, and just get the reciprocation back from the audience, man, that they still love us, they still think that we should be up there, and we still entertaining the world, so Man, y'all still great. putting on them dope-ass uh, live shows, we, man? We on tour all year, man. We booked the next year, so, hey, man, the folks, they waiting to see them all everywhere. That's what's <laughs> up, man. I give it up for that. Y'all back on the road. Cool Joe, what you got for me, man? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, man, you know, I'm just, I'm just thankful, man. We, we made it to a 50-year anniversary. What's up, Bam? Man, you know, <laughs> hard part about it is, you know, when, when Dre said the South had something to say, I don't think they knew this train was coming like this. Yes. I don't think they knew it, but the good thing about it is, is that he was speaking for the whole South, you know what I mean? Not only just Goody Mob, but everybody else that came after us. So, man, it feel good to be representing Soul Food, because that's what we all about. Man, it's just, man, we just, we just good, man. We feeling good, bro, team. You know what I'm saying? Beat my part, but we used to beat a lot of heads up out here in this park, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. wow, I brought back memories, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! But we used to take them up through there, man. But it's, it's good to have a purpose, man. It's good, man, that people can look up to Goody Mob and want to do what we do and just take this thing to that next level, man. Yeah. Lo, how you feeling today, man? The boys have said it so eloquently. I don't know what much more I could add on to it. I just think that, uh, you know, it's not a matter of old Atlanta or new Atlanta. It's about now Atlanta. You know what I'm right now. Okay. Did you ever see it being this big? Because, like, we here at Piedmont Park with Good and Mob. And right. you know, the line that keep popping up in my head is thinking like the language in Piedmont Park. Park. Hey, man, That's that was right. the highlight, man. <laughs> yeah, we in the land right now, for sure. Yeah. I think, uh, I think what our intention was, man, we were going to work tirelessly, you know what I'm saying, like to take the flag. You know what I'm saying? And uh, venture out into that uncharted territory, planet, man, and call it call it our own. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for the Dungeon family, for the collective, it's always been about conquest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we were always, you know, up for fighting a good fight. You know what I mean? So, like, right. yeah, it makes sense because don't nothing guarantee result but repetition. You feel me? Yeah. So we stay Most consistent definitely. and keep at it. That's it. Now, look, we've been seeing the little, little clips from the little studio sessions here and there. How's that going? Y'all been popping in for a little minute. Speak on it. I mean, we got we got a few things going on. I mean, like Joe Joe dropping new music. I'm dropping new music. Uh, Low dropping uh, new music. Timo dropping yes, new music. We got new TV shows. I mean, uh, we just staying busy. Yeah. It, 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 it seems like when this become your life, it, it ain't no sleep. Yeah. Until it's over with. Man, it seemed like good and mob. They done woke up a sleeping giant, man. It's like y'all forming Voltron, like you said. Everybody got projects, movies, yeah. TV deals. Yeah. Gib got CBD. Yeah. And it's just like, 
man, the, y'all always been the family, but now it's so much stuff, so much more stuff under that umbrella, man. Yeah. What does it feel like to be moving in this new energy with the family again? Man. You know, I got my my mobile shake dancing company going on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mobile shake dance. <laughs> Oh, it pop up like this right here. Exactly. Like, you know it's already saying? going on. The wings is already yeah, exactly, ready. M- Mr. Low Jangles Incorporated. Low Jangles. <laughs> My bad, man. Go ahead, man. No, what you gonna say, t- Mo? I forgot. I was saying how it feel to be moving in this new energy. It's just everything revitalized. The boys are back together. Man, it feel real good just just to be out here again to see some of our great, some of our heroes, some of the people that inspired us and motivated us in the mu- to do music, period. Yeah. To be around Big Daddy Kane, to be around Slick Rick, to be around Dana Dane, to be around just some of the true fabric of hip hop. Like I say, that New York and that East Coast and that West Coast, they did it hard on us before us. Right. And we carried the torch to them. So all of us inspire each other, teach each other, teach each other, and just continue to grow together, man. So it's been good, man. Just, being out there, like I say, and it feel like a real family type of environment. We were just down in Cancun a couple of weeks ago, rocked out, man, and it was it was love, bro. Man, I gotta ask y'all this. I know y'all saw this on social media. I follow everybody on there. Uh, I always like to get my history from from the people who would know it better than me. And I was put up on to Mojo recently. Yeah, first yeah. rapper out of Atlanta. Y'all got any Mojo stories? No, I got a few. I'm a few recent ones. <laughs> hey man, I, we just because what, what what award ceremony was that one where we got? They gave us an award. They gave South an award. Oh man, and, and shout out to Miss Mita, man. Um, Dr. Mita, um, Montana, a really good friend of mine. She organized that event to honor, you know, um, Atlanta and right. some of the unsung. So yeah, right. Mojo, man, I had never met him. And I heard about him when I was a kid. I remember just the hook being really infectious. Right. Let Mojo handle it, yeah, yeah. Let Mojo handle it, yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I just remember that as a kid. Um, so all of these years, I mean, I had no idea. Like, to be honest, to meet the brother, he's really a godfather. We should acknowledge him as such. Real he got talk. a lot of good energy, man. He's Real a talk. he's a good spirit. Um, and he just loved on us and, and vice versa. So I just met him recently for the first time, and he a trip, man. Now that we exchange numbers, I, I mean, I can't, I, shit, I can't get rid of him now. <laughs> <laughs> he called me every couple of days. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> man, what do y'all think of the One Music Fest, though, being right here in Atlanta? And you see what it is, man. We out here, we kicking it like family. Friends is walking by saying what's yeah, up. Yeah. It ain't like, it ain't, you know what I mean? It's, no it's that real authentic. It feel like we all just kicking it with each other, man. How right. y'all feel it's about that? It's a big that? family reunion around here, man. I got to say, Atlanta, a great city, man, because of Thanks. that. That's one of the things that make the city so great. Everybody's so authentic. Everybody's so sincere in they in they self. You know what I mean? You feel me? Sharing. You know what I mean? You feel me? G- genuine. You know, I, I I I love this community, man. Man, good music, good food, man. You know what I mean? It's like a family reunion. You feel what I'm saying? So, man, we owe it to the city. You know what I'm saying? One music fest, man. Shout out to um, Motown, man, for putting it together, bro. This is a treat for Atlanta, man. Like Get I said, this Motown is Motown right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You can literally just sit yeah. back and pick people off. That's that's how close right. quarters that we are. Right. Man. Yeah, Motown had it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even I ain't even know he's a DJ. I ain't even know he DJ, bro. Yeah. Man, it's so crazy. I um I was talking to y'all, DJ. Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. We kicked it at the uh, DJ Envy Car Show a couple years ago. Okay. Uh, and we was just chopping it up. With the Beamer. And, man, yeah, and then he moved down here and he was like, man, now I'm, I'm the tour DJ. Now I'm like, man, I told you at the car show to bring your ass down here. <laughs> okay. Atlanta's just one of them spots where it's like, whatever it is you trying to do, it feel like the city waiting on you to come yes. do it, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he told me about that conversation. You said you were trying to tell him not to get involved in that real estate shit. <laughs> Now we definitely told, I told him that. I said, hey, don't buy nothing right now. Don't buy nothing right now. Because it, it, it sounds too good to be true. It's true. true. Yes. Okay, man. Okay. Man. Hey, hey though, you see, I got the jokes today, baby. Come yeah, on, man. Come on, man. I've been Shout back out. here kicking it the whole, the whole yeah. weekend, just talking shit. They done let me set my trap up. I I love I'm it. always good this for you. This y'all is Yeah, bro. I love it. <laughs> Love it, bro. I got, I got, I got me a, a jacket and I got one on rogue. I think one on rogue gonna go nice back in the backwood. Man, oh, I'm, shit, I'm t- hey, Gip, it's enough pockets in there where you can put everything you need right there and just walk around the you house. Bring them out on no cigar. Oh yeah. 
Yes, sir. I don't really smoke, man, but I do like the merch, though. It's your heart. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but you see them Atlanta hoodies they got over there. I got one already. Now, those are super oh, bro, hard. I'm about to go I gotta show love to Backwoods for coming through and putting, you know, putting all this together, man, and letting us be a part of this experience. Yes, sir. And, you sure. know, That's true. Do you know just to see that these type of companies and corporations are reaching back to us to, you know, make sure that the history is documented and we are represented, and somebody can do this right here. So this could be a part of the history too. Well, Man, hip hop influencing a lot of shit right now, bro. It's gotta be it's gotta be on your, your in your movie. It's gotta be in your commercial. It's gotta be why you chilling, man. So this is a great time, man, for artists, you know what I'm saying, that's really trying to do their thing, man. And it's centered around 50 years of hip hop, man. Let's go up. You know what I'm talking about? 50 years, man. 50 years, bro. Man, y'all, I gotta do it since everybody right here and y'all the OGs of the city. Please, I want everybody to go around, give me one of your, your hip hop memories. Mm. Like if we was making a hip hop vault, something that you would want put in there. Mm. Go ahead, Mo. Man. Hip hop guess, time caps. I, I would say, man, I have to say this, the time I met Tupac. You know, um, Tupac. Yeah, we was, we had I knew already, he was gonna say something about Tupac. I, I had to, cause he came too quick, I ain't had time to think. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I remember one time we was riding, I went by myself, me and this brother Hank, and went to the uh, Century Club. I don't know if you know what Century Club is out in uh, Los Angeles. Century Club. Century. The Century Club. Yeah, Century Club. But anyway, they had a big, Tupac had a five million uh, party that night. He went five million platinum. So he was, had a big party, invited us. He came up to us at the uh, Soul Train Awards, said, hey, look, man, y'all come by the party, show some love, kick it. Let's kick it, man. I was loving Park at that time, so I'm like, nigga, we there, no doubt. So we jumped in the car, me and Ron Bird. He was our manager at the time, and the dude named Hank. Hank, um, who got the all. Uh, shout out to Hank, got the restaurants. Tom yeah, Big Tom, Tom Big and Hank. Big Big Hank. Hank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Love Hank. Hank, yeah. Well, anyway, we was all riding out, uh, going out to the um to, to check out park. All the people come back this way. So I'm trying to figure out why everybody coming back this way. So I say, hey, young lady, why y'all coming back this way? The party this way. Oh, they fighting, they done busted up everything. So we go up over there, pass by all the, on the hoopla or whatever, Tupac and Shug. Park in the goddamn black Rolls Royce, uh, Suge in the white Rolls Royce. So I'm looking, they got gang dudes out like all over me, everybody looking like they're pretty amped up and hyped up. They just got the squab and the shit. So I'm laying low, cause you know, I don't know these cats, I ain't got no gun, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, my road manager jump up out of the thing and say, hey Suge, <laughs> you'll never believe who I got in the car with him. I'm like, oh shit, I hope he liked me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's T Mo Goody Mom, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Yeah. You know, he said, look, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all inspiring, man. People, so I love y'all music. Keep up the good work. So, oh, shit, look at Sue. It's so in love. We get to, we leave there. He said, follow us. We'll go to a spot called the Saint Square. Went to a club called the Saint Square. That night, me and Park sitting there talking. Sure, they tried to knock all over, knock just all kind of people over to get up in the club. <laughs> to make a long story short, just disrespect the whole club. Everybody in the motherfucking club was scared of the man. You know what I'm I, I, I can see that. Everybody was scared of him. Nobody stepped up and slapped him. Nobody did. <laughs> said, no, I, you know, I ain't from that, 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 that school. You know, we from the school where anything goes. But you know, it was just amazing to see him put in work like that. But the, I, it, that was a, a memorable moment for me just to have an opportunity to kick it with one of the greats. That's dope. Word. Oh man, uh, I can remember one day we was in uh, we was in Vegas, and uh, I had ordered me some room service, right? So I, I got my tray, I finished eating, I put my tray out. Man, I seen Stevie Wonder walking down the hall, bro. God. By himself? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he went by himself. That'd have say. been a good one, though. I was about to say. I could have took you up through there, though. <laughs> 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 by himself. Yeah, <laughs> Cause you know every time you hear Stevie Wonder's yeah. story, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you don't never know if he pulls you in the night. My partner swear he seen a nigga swing at Stevie Wonder and he did like that. <laughs> Try it again, motherfucker. I, I was like Stevie Wonder ain't fucking up. I, can see still the wind, nah, I heard you can see for real. That was I, I did too. Yeah. It's a video online. Yeah. It's a mic stand just like this. Not with them Stevie, eyes looking like that. Stevie, though. he get through. He's singing with a group of people yeah. on stage. Somebody bumped the mic and the mic falling. Stevie didn't turn around. He, caught he it. walking off stage and he caught the mic. Mike stand and put it back up and walk the fuck off. Man. Wow. How did he know that Mike stand was falling? He been fucking with niggas all. Real, man. <laughs> so that's some folklore. I don't know if it's true or not. I can't confirm it or not. But I heard you can see. 
What if he just had the surgery and they were like, man, I don't want to tell nobody it might fuck the They said, up. I mean, he, they, but the, the procedure, he could get his sight back. They said he refused to get it. I also heard that too. Mm-hmm. Stem cells. <laughs> Stem cells. Stem cells. Stem cells. Yeah. It's true though. <laughs> hey, he said he don't want it. I don't blame him. Yeah, he said. If not, I made all that money blind, why the fuck would I want to see anyway? <laughs> fuck it all up. <laughs> Clearly, he's seeing some shit that most people not. Absolutely. Right. Factory. True. Factory. Oh, I got a good one. Um, it's the first time we and all went to New York. Um, it was for Outkast release party. No, it wasn't a release party. It was a listening party, if I'm mistaken. So we all went. It was all our first time going up there as a crew to support them. Um. You know, we had always been close to Bad Boy, so uh, they was in the house, and um, not to not to separate myself, but I will say this, uh, Big, I don't know how he knew it, because it was just a release party, so maybe because of um, um, L.A. Reese and Puffy's relationship, maybe he had got an advanced copy of the Outkast record, but as the, the homies is my witness, Big, Biggie Smalls, y'all, was in front of the stage singing every word of my verse for Get Up, Get Out. The album wasn't even out yet, wow. but he was singing it. Yeah. So that's a great story of mine. Yeah. And then also... Um, that's the first CD I ever owned. Uh, the Get uh, Up, Get Out single. Wow. Damn, really? Yep. But well, that's hard. I think you might have told me that. First CD oh. I ever... Got it in Atlanta at West End Mall. I was getting ready to... My dad was getting ready to drive us back to Mississippi for some shit. We was going home. Yeah. And we stopped by West End Mall on the way out and I had got my CD player. It was like that that Christmas or something oh, like yeah. around that time, yeah. and I was taking my shit home. I'm like, but I ain't got no CDs. Stop. <laughs> that was the first one I got. Oh, and then look, man. I got one more, so I'm I'm a double down. Wow. So that was the one with Big. The one with Pop is more more of a regret than it is a memory, because everybody went to see Pop, and it's on it's on it's on film. They they caught the uh the, the video of them going to the studio to hear hit them up that night. Yeah. The boys was the first one to hear hit them up. See. It's, now that's, it's, that's the it's shit official. we're putting in the time capsule. But I've, right. I messed up. I'm a bullshit fucking with a bra. And I'm like, y'all boy, go ahead. I Damn. wish I had a win, because then Park, got, he got killed, unfortunately, after that. So I never got a chance to see him again. Right. Right. Get what's yours? Uh, I would think, I think the first time we went to uh, Minneapolis and Prince came to our show. That too. That's a good one. When Prince came out. Prince came to our first shows, The Roots, The Fugees, and Goody Mob. Facts. And we looked up in the banister, and Prince was standing up on the second level. Dang. Watching he had on our... the brown glasses like he had in purple rain, just like that. And that it, it really messed us up because it was like we knew that that night he was there to see, see the talent. You know what I mean? And, and, and after everybody performed that night, he, he invited everybody back to his uh to his spot. Yep. And we got to walk through his through through his whole situation. He got to see where he made his outfits. Got to see where he kept his guitars. And then he had a back a, a back part that was a studio. He had a stage set up, and he just played music for us until it was time for us to leave lead the city. Man, I got I got one that I gotta ask. Y'all were talking like Timo earlier when you first said out. You was talking about. What it's, what it's like to walk around here and see, see legends and people that you were fan of. Joe, didn't you just recently run into LL Cool J or something at the airport? No, and you was like, you was a big fan. What, what was that moment man. like for you, man? Man, it's hard, bro. Um, I was like, man, I DM'd him. I was like, nigga's not finna hit me back. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it anyway. OG hit me back, I was like, whoa. So I just started kind of like trying to communicate with him, you know what I'm saying? Then when we did the Force tour, man, I'm sitting backstage just waiting, bro. I'm like, man, I, I got to meet him. I got to meet him. So once he came off the stage, man, he was walking with me and Timo. Walk with me and Timo. He said, bro, he said, man, I like what you're doing, man. Keep doing your music. Now for, for a brother that's in the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right, to come down to my little level, tell me to keep doing the music, that means he watching us, you know what I mean? So, man, that was that was my first time ever meeting him. Word. First time meeting him, meeting Rock him, meeting uh, Light. Man, man. It Shouts was, out to all of them. Man, Ray man I got to ask that. this. This is, I feel like this is the most important question. With the crazy shit going on in the world right now, chaos, times is changing again, the technology is still flipping. Right. Is it time for another cell therapy? Oh, yeah. I would say so. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the, the 
beat, the music, to find the music is, is the task right now. To find the music is, is futuristic, like cell therapy was, you know? So, yeah, it is, because if you think about when we first came out, this is the environment Goodemar was created in. Mm. You know, like, like this is the environment cre that Goody Mob was created in. So again, like, it's so much to pull from right now to go into the studio and really work on a new album. It's so much to pull from. It's, it's chaos in the, in, in the West, it's chaos in the East. So uh, I just think that it would be a great time because I think we need to kind of like establish where we are as a culture right, right now in the world. And we got to stand on our own. I think it's, it's time for us to not be to stop being used in other people's wars and other people's problems. It's time for us to really concentrate on what we need to become, to become greater as a community. So I think that's only gonna come in the rhyme because the way the rhyme is now, you know, it's drill music, right. it's kill music. So it gotta be something that's gonna come to balance the game out again, like Soul Food did. And that, 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 that generation itself has to speak That's about. exactly what Stevie wanted to do. Yeah. I, 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 I promise you. <laughs> that was the Stevie. That's what Stevie did. Stevie Wonder did that. Yeah, but I was gonna say, man, that generation itself has to seek that knowledge, you know, and speak that truth to power. You know, each generation, each, each generation needs to give birth to that balance. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Because balance is virtue. Balance is righteous. It can't be all good. It can't be all bad. You got to be all real and all honest. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We spoke for our generation. Right. Of course, we still got things to say to add on and contribute. But the last time I seen something impactful and just completely genuine and organic was Lil Baby's uh, Black or White. Right. That was the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? It really blessed me to hear the young boy speak on it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to see someone out of each generation rise up and assume that position. You know what I mean? Like, because sometimes, you know, they need to talk to themselves. You know what I mean? Like a lot of problems are solved with the internal dialogue. So sometimes you might not be able to take, you know, the, the information from an elder because you live in a different time. It's a different world they're living in. Right. So they have to prove to themselves that they understand their place in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like in their responsibility for themselves and for culture. I know we got to wrap, but I got one more question. It's like, as, as, as artists, as performers, as rappers, how does a rapper get trapped into a space like now where it's like, even if you make the bang bang, shoot them up, kill them, gangsta shit, why is that the only way that they can get their message out? Because I'm looking, I know that y'all have songs where it's whooping nigga ass in the club, but then you can turn around and still hear a sky high or a beautiful skin. Like what, what push artists into thinking that it's not okay to make more than just one kind of music. Because the, cust the customer is always right, my bad. It's what the people want. It's what we assume that they want. And it's what we know they want. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But sometimes it's all that they have access to. And certain things, you know, the, the difference between good and bad is the budget. Does that make sense? Most definitely. The difference between good and bad is the budget. So. So hip hop music is highly profitable because it's low maintenance. It, it's inexpensive to make. So it's all profit for the most part. You go stand in the closet, go stand in the bathroom, you know what I mean, like, and make a hip hop record. You feel me? So for the machine to reap all profit, they're going to antagonize that. You know what I'm saying? They're going to advocate for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at what cost? And at what cost do we give the consumer what they want? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, you're going to kill, you're going to ultimately kill your clientele. So, and, and, and you know, if you put it in street terms, you got to you got to step on the work a little bit, right? But just a little bit. Am I right? Yeah, you, know, you you most definitely right. You the man that had the whole world saying "fuck you" in the nicest way possible. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, this, you made the happiest "fuck you" song that there could ever be. For sure. Yeah. Now that could have went a whole nother way. It, it could have been "fuck you." I'm coming over there to do some shit. That's a fact. But it's "fuck you" and I'm gonna walk off singing. That's yeah. dope. I don't say that kind of fuck you too. You gotta want to be different, bro. Yeah. You gotta want to. You gotta want to push that envelope. You know what I mean? And us being young, in our twenties, want to rap about something totally different. Cause you're right. I mean, we were some head busters. You feel me? We did that and did this. You know what I mean? But we didn't want to. We didn't want that in our music. Cause we had to go back to our mama and big daddy, big mama and big daddy. Hey, mama, listen to my song. 
Damn, baby, you done, you done killed five niggas? <laughs> yeah, you know, ran a, out the stove? It's That's a what you been doing? Yeah, it's a difference between growing old and growing up. That's, that's, that's some heavy lifting right there. No, well, right. I could literally sit here and talk to y'all all day. I still got a million questions. I think we got about five more uh, trips got, to the we trap. Gotta come back to the trap <laughs> y'all gotta come to the new spot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited as hell. I get to invite y'all in person. Come, on come to the new spot, man. We love man. y'all and what y'all doing, what y'all contributing. Much continued success, y'all. One Lord the DC Young Fly. You know what I mean? Right. We still ride with you, baby. And Man. it's all good. Man. Man. And my boy Chico. Yeah. Make sure y'all check Flower. Y'all know he hosting the new Celebrity Squares. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah most Kidding definitely. That night, and we just dropped it. an independent film with Tip called Apartments. I see yeah. that. Man, that shit funny as hell. Man, yeah. make sure y'all I just seen Tip at the airport on the way here, so shout yeah, he out got, to the He got a song coming out soon, too. A vacation. Yeah. Yeah, man, so you know it's always love whenever I see y'all, man. I, I try to hit y'all on the social media as much as I can and yes, stay sir, in the loop. Yes, me sir. and your son be talking good you shit. You told me? Yeah, man. <laughs> you told me. Me and Timo jumping in them Grand yes, Nationals and we gonna ride out. Man, I was just gonna say, we gotta go ride. did some shit over there with Cujo cars. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. You need to get back with your folk, man. Man, hey, we got the shop. Oh, oh. Now we got the shop. Okay. I told the boy we need to start a car club, man. Let's get it going again. I got a vet. Shouts out to Two Chains, man. He got the South Side got them going, man. And we on, I'm on the South Side, yeah. too. For sure. Most definitely, man. Baby Bird Automotive. Man, you got a, a, a friend that coming to old Ed, man, Rolling Museum. Let's do it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah. My boy uh, um, Ed and yeah. uh, Melvin. Exactly. Man. Yeah, I just got that guy saying, all right. Where your shop located? Uh, I'm coming. We'll wrap off, off oh, the joint. Oh, right. But this is down in Jonesboro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah almost there. Most well, yeah. Hey, much to, love, much love, love to the city of Atlanta, man. We thank y'all for everything. Man, yeah. much love and success. Oh, really? yeah, Goody man. mom, Backwoods yeah. Backstage Lounge, man. 85 South, none other than the legends. Get back.